With over 200,000 gallons of water here at the Ohio Fish Rescue and so many amazing fish, everybody's got to have like a favorite. So today, I kind of want to go through Josh's top three favorite fish and Rich's top three favorite fish, and we'll do my top three favorite fish at the rescue. We'll start with you, Josh. What is your... Yeah, so come on in here. One of them is right in here. If you look in this back corner, that is an Australian oh. lungfish. So if you know, this is a Society 2 fish. It is microchipped. We have the pe paperwork on them. They, uh, they're they very sought after in the hobby and hard to find. But th these guys can get up to five foot long. They are the only lungfish that actually has scales. And they are just a, a di the dinosaur, you know? I love my, my, my lungfish and that thing is just so majestic to me. Yeah, I love their, uh, they are relatively plain coloration, but, um, I love their bellies. I love that the contrast between the top and bottom. Uh, and these guys are going to get absolutely enormous. And they are an ancient fish, uh, yeah. definitely considered one. What size do they get to? Um, that they can get upwards of five, five foot long. And the thing that is most impressive to me is they can live over 80 years. So this is most likely a generational pet. As long as I'm able to keep him alive and not, nothing happens, that this fish will be, be alive when, you know, I'm dead and gone. So is he your number one? That is my number three. Oh, okay. So we got to save the best for last. Best for last. Not number two is in here. Are you surprised at any of this so far? <laughs> no. Do you, can you guess what his top three is? I know is? what his three are. Oh, okay. All right. So number two, um, I'm going to show you th this one. This is a uh, Vitatis African tut to tiger fish. My favorite one is actually a, a Goliath, and I have a small one but I wanted you guys to be able to see the teeth on the tiger fish. And that, that is why I love these things. They are like angry mint minnows and then they can <laughs> cause havoc in your fish tank. So we actually have our baby Goliath tiger over here. And I'm actually growing him out right now. So he's uh, being pop a flower fed and soon enough, he will be a monster in himself. We had one before that was 28 inches long. This oh, thing wow. was massive. This was before we had the, the monster pond and uh, he was starting to take chunks out of fish in, in the 4400. So we, we were faced with a decision. We're like, let's just go ahead and rehome him. And I regretted the decision ever since. Yeah. <laughs> My number one though, I told you, I am a cat fit fish man. I am a monster fish lo lover, so my number one, my gooch catfish. Oh, right there. <laughs> Rich loves him too. <laughs> he's always over in this corner though, so he's hard to get a good so shot these, of. Him. These are one of the known man eaters. These guys can get upwards of six feet feet long. They man eat, eaters. They get, they get large enough, that and one. they have found uh, humans inside of the larger gooch before. Wow. I love the, the teeth, teeth on them. I love the way, way that, they, that they look. They're just awesome. Yeah. All right, Rich. Uh, I had no, no clue what Josh was into, so it's going to be interesting to see what you're into. What, what do you got on the go for your top three? Okay. My number three is this, because you all know Paul Caparo. I'm sure you've heard of him. Uh, he's a YouTuber from Florida. He came up to the Shedd Aquarium, and he did a behind-the-scenes type thing. Right. And they have a tank behind the scenes with a jow catfish in it. Okay. And this thing was five foot long, and his mouth was this wide. Wow. And I, 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 I go in there. I'm big rich. I'm a YouTuber. I'm a, I'm a fish guy. <laughs> and the guy's like, um, watch your arm on that. Can I put my arm on the edge of the tank? And I'm like, I'm big rich. You know, I know what I'm doing. Don't worry about me. Man, I'll tell you what, he threw a piece of shrimp in from over across the room and it landed by where my arm was, and this thing clapped. Oh, damn. So hard and spent water everywhere. It scared the bejesus out that of me. That was your favorite fish? So, this is my number three, the Jow Catfish. Oh, it's here. I was like, yes. Rich, we got to do ones that are here. I thought no, he was just here. like one he saw in the past or something. This is our Jow. Oh. They get up to five, six foot, and they are ferocious eaters. Wow. Love that guy. That is a uh, Sparata Aor or an Indian shovel nose. It swam into camera there. Is that yeah. your number one? No, it's my number three. Oh, okay. We're going three, two, one. Just okay, like Jesse. Yep. Yep. <laughs> so that was my number three. Now my number two, I would love to show you this, but the problem being, I can't reach in and grab him, but it is the Brachyplatostoma 
Tigrinum, the Tigrinus catfish. Yeah, these are beautiful. I love these catfish. You got them tiny little eyes and them long streamers and that zebra pattern. Just amazing. Yeah. Beautiful fish. They're gorgeous. And then we get better with age. So, well, I guess sometimes they'll lose a little bit of the patterning. But look, look at his trailers. These are beautiful. Yeah, very nice. That was two very close to each other. Both of these seem to put... No, because yours were more spaced out. But is, is this is this like the the hot spot? Yeah. Just in this area? Uh-oh. I'd like to say it's the Atlantic Tarpon, but he's one of my... He's, he's like number four. Come on up here. This is my buddy. This is Brutus. My Arapaima. Where is he? Oh, there he is. Just beefy. What'd you say? Uh, it's definitely bigger than a milk jug around. Oh, yeah, yeah. foot wide. That's the size of uh, an alligator. I don't know. He's huge. <laughs> He's definitely over six foot now. And uh, come on, Brutus. You want some of this? Come on. Here we go. Let's see if he pops up this. No. <laughs> the other one did. <laughs> he usually makes such a commotion. Oh, he's going down. Oh yeah, look at the side. Look at all that color. Yeah, he's looking for it. Oh, there he goes. Look at the big boy. That's my favorite right there. I get in there, and you know, when I'm swimming and stuff, he'll come over near me to see if I have food, and I just put a hand on his neck, and he'll swim away, and I can stroke his whole body, you know? <laughs> he's really cool. He's so cool. Now see, people get in here and go swimming, and they get surrounded by like the alligator guards, and people get nervous. But they're not only looking for food. They're not trying to bite you. Yeah, okay. So my top three is going to change uh, every single day. I don't know how you guys pick, pick uh, your three, but I'll show you one. The one, uh, I don't know if it's one. I don't, yeah, I got, I'll do it in order of the ones that I like. This is definitely, it could easily be a two or a three, but um, I love this sturgeon. I think he's absolutely gorgeous. Beautiful. Yeah. He is very prehistoric looking. Yeah, absolutely. I just find them just crazy. I love his coloration. I'd like to go with a sturgeon that's a white, like maybe a platinum, or this yellow one, but... There we go. There's the lights on. Yeah, he's gorgeous. Yeah. All right, so that's one. Oh. One. Uh, the, the platinum guards definitely get an honorable mention. Oh, where, oh really here like we go. Uh, the platinum alligators. There you go. Oh. Beautiful. <laughs> but, uh, let's say number two. Let me think here. I mean, I, every time I walk by, I, I, I can say it's you, it's you, it's you, so it's easy. This is easy. I didn't have to put much thought into it. Oh, I know which one. Okay. Second. Over here. And of course, the big one's jealous. But the, <laughs> the female under this ray here uh, is definitely my favorite ray out here. Uh, it might be weird to say that, but because it's not a fancier, uh, you know, black diamond with the with the donuts and uh, you know with the stars and whatnot. But I love that classic crisp uh, circle. Yeah, it reminds me of mine that I have, and that's what I pick when I look for a black diamond. It's just that. It, it will turn into this eventually as it grows and gets bigger. I do find those circles uh, a lot of the time separate. Yeah, them little dots are like the Thousand Island feature. Yeah. Okay, so that's no, number two. And then my favorite right now. Oh, right now. I'm going to be a little biased. Is the ones you got for Brian Biotech last night. <laughs> Those are some beauties. These are albino alligator gar. Yeah, just gorgeous. Absolutely phenomenal. What did you guys, who had the best, uh, who had the best top three? Let me know in the comment section below. Was it Rich, was it Josh, or was it me? Uh, and what would you have picked for your top three of the, out of the fish that you've seen, just like in the background and whatnot? This wasn't that easy. There's so many cool fish yeah, to pick to from. from. Yeah, yeah. It's, a really, it's a really interesting video and I thought it'd be easy, but it's not. I should have probably put more time into thinking. Because you, you've got, you know, you've got an Amera down here. The craziest fish. Well, he's, he's always hiding, but 
And then just right over here, you've got an, uh, an electric eel. We look over here, you've got an ABBA ABBA. This is something you don't see every day. Albino um, sturgeon. Yeah, you have an albino sturgeon, a little baby they stingray. Over there. Yeah, so this wasn't easy to pick from. And, uh, and then you got Mr. Attitude. <laughs> but anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, uh, make sure you hit the like button, subscribe if you're not already. And be sure to check out Ohio Fish Rescue. Where do you find you guys? Uh, we're on YouTube, Facebook, and Instagram. Ohio Fish Rescue on all three. Perfect. Thanks for joining me, guys. Rich, thanks for having me again and letting me do these like, little videos. But I think the more I make here, the more awareness we can help create and uh, you know bring more attention to your to the uh, nonprofit organizations that they do have here. Uh, if you guys want more details, make sure you check out their channel. See you guys in the next video.